Well guys, reunited with the Tacoma here at Westcott Designs. So this is a full height bed rack. You guys can see how it ties in to the roof rack up top. We're going to be putting a GFC topper on it right there. But Jeff, you didn't like that the way this bed rack was. So we're gonna bring this tower back a little bit. So these are completely different rails for the side and then different towers to bring that back so there's not so much kind of overhang. Jeff took off these super scraped rock sliders that I already bashed up like crazy and gave me uh, textured ones. They will hold up a lot better than the more of the shiny satin finish. And then up front, we got a Nitop bumper that Deegan helped me put on uh, the other day. It was a whole slew of parts that I had delivered here. So we got Jeff out here getting his trailer ready. We got the uh, AT4X with the new Go Fast camper on it. And we're loading up the 4Runner because we're heading out to Moab with it. a little behind the scenes guys for a later video but we got chris who is westcott designs uh social media dude camera dude everything a yeah, little bit of everything a little bit of everything so he's gonna be taking this 460 out to the desert for us and i'm gonna be driving this 550 out and kind of doing like a little comparison video westcott designs is gonna be making some stuff for the 550 kind of to emulate like this uh 460 over here so we're gonna take him out to the desert shoot a little video again man so this one's a production one Whoo! oh that v8 startup but man, all the soft touch all over the place. It was just in the Land Cruiser in California for that drive event and stuff. So it's gonna be nice to just be in this 550 right after that. It's hard, man, like with the prices of these trucks and like with the new 4Runner coming out too, like the prices are probably gonna be super similar. Like, especially if you get a fully done up Land Cruiser, like premium, that's like 68 grand. The TRD Pro, probably gonna be 68 grand. This GX, uh, 70 grand, so it's just, kind of crazy. Speaking of crazy, the first 200 members that sign up for our new form that we launched, 6 gen 4 you guys will receive a swag pack of goodies. So we are trying to build up this new form to be the best form for the 6 gen 4Runner. This vehicle has massive shoes to fill because of the 5th gen 4Runner how iconic it was and everything. So we created this forum for everyone to post their modifications, post questions, general information, all of that stuff. A link will be in the description and also a pinned comment. The first 200 members, we can count, will receive a swag pack from Trail 4Runner, 4Runner Nation, and also 6G4Runner.com. So this pretty much, guys, is where Westcott Designs does all their like behind the scenes videos and stuff. So they just come up the road right here. There's some stunning homes up here as well. Where do you want me? Uh, so I'm gonna position you right here. Mm -hmm. Literally how you are, just backwards. So just face that way, okay. nose that way. So Chris getting that one situated for our comparison side-by-side -side video, but this one actually still has the uh, window sticker on it. So Jeff has this one from Lexus Temecula Valley, and here's our price. So 71. So this one is just a normal uh, GX Overtrail, but it does have some features like the uh, moonroof. So that wasn't omitted, and it does have like the cool box and stuff too. So 71 for this, equipped with the cool box, the traffic jam assist. That's like a thousand dollars. Uh, heads up display another thousand dollars. So like I I really wouldn't want all that stuff. So you're at like sixty eight thousand uh, Plus the destination. So right under 70 for this and the Land Cruiser I'm getting is like 74 and to be completely honest with you guys I mean even though it's a first edition I wouldn't really want a first edition, but you know content I would much rather I think have the GX over the Land Cruiser just for the six cylinder however, I kind of like the interior of the Land Cruiser a little bit better and the looks too maybe i'm not sure so we're going with this setup right here guys kind of stacked a little bit oh look at this professional equipment right here dang so a couple things that i've noticed after driving this gx it was literally a 10 minute drive right but i've driven it in the past in tucson and uh now i've that i've driven the land cruiser uh the power delivery on the land cruiser because i believe it's like 600 pounds lighter than the gx for it being a four cylinder and this being the six cylinder it's very comparable it's very comparable for sure the hybrid in that versus the v6 in this so we made our way back to the shop guys and they have done a quite a bit of work back here in the back and this tower placement for the rear tower right here looks a lot better because if you guys remember it was right here 
now we're out in the back and we put the GFC up on top and we are adding some spacers right here because with the tent hanging over the roof of the Tacoma, you want to make sure that there is some space there for when we are off-roading and the truck's flexing and stuff, that it's not hitting the roof rack of the taco. And we also have the new front wind fairing on too. So we're waiting for the molly panels to get done on the side. So Deegan and I, we're gonna install the NITOP recovery points on the back while we wait. And just like the front bumper guys, insanely detailed instructions to go ahead and put these on, but it's super simple. They just bolt right up, right to the tow hitch receiver area. And now we got it pretty much installed. So still a little bit loose, but it just ties in to the tow hitch right here. And you just use the washers on both sides to clear the frame, torque it down to 146 foot pounds, and then we have a little recovery points back here. And then Tough Skin sent out a care package. Check out like this reflective topo. So they've done reflective in the past, like with the camo here, so you can see that it's like reflective a little bit, but tons of care package stuff in here from Tough Skins that they sent over to Westcott Designs. Look at this. So there we go, we got the topo on. Tough Skins has a whole bunch of stuff. Like this is a whole dash piece. You can see where it says Tacoma right there, so it would cover up the dash, but we now have the molly panels going in on the bed rack, Andrew and Deegan hooking it up came straight from Powder Co. My truck is super dirty right now, but you could see where this topo reflective kind of like that would go right here on the dash. Backing it out now, and there's quite a bit of weight in the bed of the truck, and we're still using the stock springs too. Probably like 250 pounds in the back with the extra tire, suitcase, the BAM beds, a lot of other stuff that I need to take back to Florida. But we're about to start our road trip to Moab now. So we're going to see how good of gas mileage and how the Tacoma actually does. Because we have to go from Phoenix up some elevation into Flagstaff too. So we're going to see how this little four-cylinder does climbing some elevation with the weight that we have in the bed and the bigger tires and everything too. We got 450 miles to our destination. And I'm going to go ahead and hold this, go on over, reset the fuel economy to see what we get. And oh, I'm also going to go over here and reset the distance too. So that's at zero now, and we have 450 miles per the GPS to get to our location. And making our way up through Flagstaff, and we got some slow guys going, freaking 30 miles an hour. But from Phoenix to Flagstaff, we're gonna jump quite a bit of elevation. Arizona looking absolutely stunning. Need to try to get back up to speed, which we are. 73 miles an hour so you can see how we have a tiny bit of a grade here with the semi truck going up truck is cruising at about 2100 rpms i'm gonna actually have to give it a little bit more gas to get back up to somewhat of 70 miles an hour but this is how this tacoma just does man and it's not even the hybrid but, uh, i could say that until it's it's a, a dead horse has been beaten but it just cruises and i know it doesn't portray on camera you know like how much of a grade this is but and then just kick back down now we're at 75 and what goes up must come down and what i love about the tacoma if you can see the rpm gauge over there on the left hand side this truck kind of like engine brakes for itself which is very cool and look at these views holy smokes So passing power with the Tacoma foot down all the way. Pass them no problem. See you later. 80 miles an hour. Getting back over. Perfect. And even at 77 miles an hour now, the wind noise, all I hear is the camper really in the back. Some whistling coming from the side. Talked to Jeff about that because he was curious. But sun is starting to set, guys. So we're gonna make our way into Moab and I'll catch you guys when we get to the hotel. And I made it to the hotel. Got an overland vehicle right over there. But the truck is saying that I only went 419 miles and we averaged 16.2 miles per gallon. Let's do some calculations. So if we do the math of the mileage that the truck read versus what we were supposed to go, and then we divide that by the 16.2 that the truck also read that it got, we actually get 
8.4 miles per gallon, which honestly isn't that bad for how much stuff I had in the bed of the truck, going up and down hills, a big old tent just sitting right there on the roof. But regardless, the Tacoma, honestly, guys, I'm, I was very impressed with how well it drove, uh, especially with that new wind fairing, man. I'm, I'm really thinking that the light bar in the front was uh, an issue with just like wind getting trapped up there, but the truck had plenty of power. As I mentioned in this uh, little vlog, the truck had plenty of passing power uh, to get past vehicles and stuff, just going up the grades, going down the grades. It was, it was a pleasure to drive. We will be in Moab tomorrow, my very first time. I'm beyond excited, but thanks guys for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, see you later.